Hi YouTube. Okay, so this is uh, my test. If you've been following me, I made a switch for my ADD so I could disconnect it um, on and off uh, to give me three-wheel drive option and also four-wheel drive option on my Tundra. So I've uh, just finished patching everything up. The panel there, I've uh, finished uh, installing it back in place. And so I made this switch right here. Okay, right now, you know, regularly, uh, normally when you drive, when, when you're not in uh, any um, four-wheel drive mode or off-road mode, this switch could be left onto any position, okay? However, what I've done is that I've designed it so that if I flip the switch this way, it'll go to uh, three-wheel drive or three by four. And if I go switch it this way, it'll go to four-wheel drive or four by four. So <clears throat> I'm here at a dirt field here, okay? And um, I'm taking it lightly. Uh, I'm testing my truck. Um, I'm not gonna go to any off-road uh, trail yet because I'm still doing tests on this truck uh, because of this new um, project I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this to three-wheel drive, okay? Once that's done, when I turn on my uh, switch here to call for four-wheel drive mode, there's a four-wheel drive uh, light here that'll blink and that tells me that it's not on true four-wheel drive. Uh, technically, uh, on on any normal truck or car that has the option of turning on four-wheel drive, if that light blinks, it means that your four-wheel drive is not connecting. However, um, in this setup, if that thing, uh, if that light there blinks, it means that it's on three-wheel drive. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this thing on. Okay. Okay, so then, see that? that's blinking so that tells me it's on three-wheel drive mode okay so uh, let's test this I have not this is the first time I've just got to this uh, dirt field here and we're gonna test it and remember what I said when I turned on three-wheel drive yesterday uh, that uh, basically uh, there's pro possibly going to be some torque steer because of the passenger or the driver's side uh, wheel uh, in that it only the, the the power goes only to the driver's side wheel so here we go okay all right let's see let's test this let's see if there's any torque steer okay here we go okay my hands are off okay my hands i'm my this is my hand okay and my my other hand is holding the camera so let's see let's see so yep there's some torque steer okay so we know that there is uh, there is torque steer, okay, which is okay, because um, it should it, that's how it should be, okay. But okay, let's see. I'm gonna step on my accelerator, uh, trying to jack, uh, to trying to to sort of like uh, do like a jackrabbit start on my car again. But this time I'm holding the uh, the steering wheel. Let's see. Okay, so it's not that bad. It's controllable, guys. Okay, watch. Watch how the dirt's gonna get flinged on this side. Watch. Okay, oh wait. So let's try that again. Okay. Let's see if there's any dirt. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's see. So, you see that? So that means that the passenger, or the driver's side is working and the in the uh, passenger side isn't working which is what I want it to do so when you are driving this thing uh, with three-wheel drive you'll just have to control the steering wheel uh, and not let it escape your hand and it's not that bad it looks okay it, yeah it's not that bad you can still turn it like a two-wheel drive car um, acts, acts just like a two-wheel, four-wheel drive, or three-wheel drive, or two-wheel drive. Acts like a normal car. You just have to put your finger, your hand on the steering wheel so that it doesn't slip you. Okay, so let's go up this little burn right here. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see how it slips. And there's no binding. I'm not feeling any binding to uh, my truck. Okay. So that's awesome. Uh, let's try going to. Let's try going on the pavement here to see if there's any. If I could feel any binding. Okay. No, I'm not feeling any binding on my steering wheel. And yeah, it, I'm not finding. You know, those those of you who have uh, four wheel drive, fully locked um, front and rear, you'll know that uh, when you go on pavement like this, you could feel the binding of the front wheel drive, uh, of the front wheels, not the front wheel drive, but. I'm not feeling anything, but you know, I'll be honest with you. You're gonna have to uh, hold on to the steering wheel so that it won't you won't lose control. Um, but other than that, it's it drives normal. I'm not, yeah. See, and I'm not feeling any binding, which is good. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is great. All right, so this is awesome, guys. So that's how it is with uh, full three-wheel drive mode. Um, okay, so let's go. Let's turn it to four-wheel drive mode. Okay, uh, and we're not gonna test four-wheel drive on the pavement because. I already know it's gonna bind so okay so we're gonna put this to park okay we're gonna uh, turn off the four-wheel drive uh, the three-wheel drive mode here okay so this little switch we're gonna flip to, to flip this to four-wheel drive and this is what's gonna happen guys once we do that remember that that blinking light right there that four-wheel drive light it's not gonna blink anymore watch this so we're gonna turn the four-wheel drive Okay, so it's on, and see, it's not blinking anymore. So watch this. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it gas, and let's see if the steering wheel uh, will spin. Nope, it's not spinning. That means that it's on full four-wheel drive, and I could feel it. I could feel the truck wanting to go straight because there's power to both wheels. So actually, it's harder to turn my truck with it on fully locked four-wheel drive than three-wheel drive. But you could you could feel a lot of traction here. Okay, you could feel that this thing has a lot of traction because it's on full four-wheel drive uh, mode, and it acts differently. It's not as friendly to the, well. It's it still drives the same but uh, you definitely know that it's on full four-wheel drive so let's see if we could shift this to um low okay so it's on low so yep and it works for four-wheel drive low so hey you know i'm happy this is just a light test um oh, okay so we just turned off the four-wheel low turning off the four-wheel drive and you can leave the switch to four-wheel drive mode or you can put it off on the off position here or you could just go leave it to three-wheel drive mode you just have to remember where uh, what position uh, you are on so yeah that's a that's a done deal I love it um, I love this it drives fine um i wish i have another person taking the video but anyway uh i'll take it to the trail next time and when i'm on the trail i'll test every component that i i have installed on my truck so yeah if you like this video if you like the idea of um 
making a three-wheel drive out of your locked four-wheel drive IFS, this could be uh, the ticket. However, what works for me might not work for you. Okay, and uh, I like I like it, <laughs> and hopefully I'll take this to the trail to the trails uh, soon. Um, can't wait. I just need to get some partners with me and uh, get ready to um, go up and down the trails here in California. Okay, well, if you like the, uh, if you uh, find the uh, video informational to you, please uh, like and subscribe.